Okay, in this video we're going to solve the following congruence. So we want to find a solution for 2 times x to the fifth power is congruent to 6 mod 7. So we haven't done a proof of a result for when we can test whether or not there is a solution and how many solutions there are. So we'll just find one solution in this case. Um, and so the first thing that we want to do is notice that 2 is invertible mod 7, so we can multiply both sides of this congruence by 2 inverse. And in fact, uh, we have 2 inverse is congruent to 4 mod 7, and that's because 2 times 4 is 8, which is 1 mod 7. So that's what we'll do. We'll multiply both sides of this by 4, and on the left-hand side, we'll get two, x to the fifth, and then on the right-hand side, we'll get 24 mod 7. But then again, we can reduce this 24 mod 7 to x to the fifth is congruent to 3 mod 7. So now we've broken it down to the fact that we need to solve x to the fifth is congruent to 3 mod 7. And now the next thing that we want to use is the notion of a primitive root. And so let's notice that uh, 3 is a primitive root mod 7. So now what we want to do is rewrite this equation in terms of its this primitive root. So we'll write x equal 3 to the k because if if we have a solution for x, then we know it must be of the form uh, some power of this primitive root. So that's what we'll do. We'll say that it is 3 to the k. And then 3 is obviously equal to uh, 3 to the 1. So let's write that like this. 3 is equal to 3 to the 1. Now that might seem trivial, but you know, just to point out that we would have to write that in terms of the primitive root if it weren't already the primitive root. Okay, so that turns this congruence into the following. So we have 3 to the k to the fifth power is congruent to 3 to the 1 mod 7. Good, but that is the same thing as 3 to the 5k is congruent to 1 mod 7. And then using a pre previous result, sorry, is equal to 3 to the 1 mod 7. And now using a pre previous result, we know that the exponents will be congruent mod phi of 7. So actually they'll be congruent mod the order of 3, but uh, that will be phi of 7 because it's a primitive root. So that tells us that 5k is congruent to 1 mod 6. Good. And then we know that 5 is invertible mod 6. In fact, let's see, 5 inverse, we want to fi find 5 inverse mod 6, and that is 5 mod 6, and that, then again that's because 5 times 5 is equal to 25, which is congruent to 1 mod 6. Good. So the next thing we want to do is take this congruence and multiply both sides by 5 inverse, which happens to be 5, and that tells us the following. That tells us that k is congruent to 5 mod 6 which again tells us that x is equal to 3 to the 5th power. Okay, so I'll break down this 3 to the 5th power um, in a way that we can calculate it quickly. So notice that's the same thing as 3 squared times 3 squared times 3, but that's 9 times 9 times 3. But we know that 9 mod 7, because now we're working uh, with x, and when we're working with x, we're back to mod 7. So 9 mod 7 is 2, so that's the same thing as 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 times 3 is 12, and 12 is 5 mod 7. So our solution here is x is congruent to 5 modulo 7. And that is our final answer.